Welcome to Windows and Computer Channel and as we look more and more into settings we'll now look at to the settings of the mobile hotspot from Windows 10 because Windows 10 has a nice feature that can actually have you share your laptops or desktop internet access with your um, another phone or a tablet or another PC uh, in case you need to share the internet. So go into your quick action center on the bottom right and go into all settings or go into start and the settings gear. Go into network and internet. Here you will go into mobile hotspot. So here it gives you option to connect through, uh, share your internet connection from Wi-Fi. Some might have other options and depends on your uh, computer there could be internet sharing from uh, the um, Bluetooth also on some devices so what you do is you turn on sharing your internet access what this will do is will give you a uh, the information of what you're sharing when you do this uh, devices around you should actually see your network that's created by your PC and the information is here. So you see network name. In my case, it would say Acer Nitro 5 for 065. That would be what I'm searching for on my Wi-Fi on other devices. Then you have the network password, which is the one here that's automatic in Windows, but you can edit this and change the password to whatever else or the name to whatever else. You can also choose 2.4 or 5 gigahertz or whatever you want to connect to depending on the devices. Of course, you click save to save those options. Then you'll have how many devices are connected. Here it says zero because nothing is connected. And then you have power saving. When no devices are connected, automatically turn off the mobile hotspot. Now, this option is available for most, but it might not work for some. And the reason behind this is that there are some ISP, some internet service providers, or some mobile internet providers that do not accept sharing of a connection between devices. Some of them do, but you have to let them know that you want to do this in order for this to work. And of course, some of them actually just don't. And when that happens, even if you connect, often it will say there's no internet. So this is possible. There's also the possibility of problems between different uh, network cards not actually uh, connecting well or you know uh, having good connectivity with the internet. That could happen. But in most cases, this will actually work and give you a shared internet connection. Now, if you have a desktop that doesn't have Wi-Fi, uh, Remember that you can't share because there's no connectivity possibility. So um, this is a way of sharing your internet. So this is, you know, you have one connection, but you have more than one devices and you want to have internet access through these devices also. This is a great way to actually share your internet using your laptop. And uh, of course, uh, the parameters are all here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.